dark, it's raining in the park, but meantime, south of the river, you step in your hole. Step inside, but you don't see too many faces. Coming in out of the rain, they hear the jazz go down. Competition, other places. But the horns are blowing, that sound they're blowing. stash um, this is the Dulce MK and I being an EMG endorser have taken the liberty of putting an EMG 85 an SA and an SA in the guitar uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the construction of the guitar first and we'll get into a little bit of the history of the guitar and then we'll run through some of the tones on it I, as you can see it's got a carved maple top and it's a uh, highly quilted maple on a mahogany body with a maple neck and the body's bound, the neck is bound with a uh, rosewood fretboard Michael Dulcy designed six in line headstock uh, Michael Dulcy uh, logo inlaid in abalone as well as abalone inlays in the neck Floyd Rose, Rose license tremolo with locking nut five way switch volume and tone control the idea behind this guitar was shortly after the Brothers in Arms tour, Martin Offler started playing Pence's sewer guitars that were made to look pretty much exactly like this one, really hot rotted strats that the custom builders were doing with Floyd Roses and EMGs. And when Michael sent me the guitar, it had uh, his passive pickups in it, which actually sounded great, and I was able to put them into a Valley Arts that they sound killer in, but I wanted to make this as close to Mark's as I could, and I knew that these pickups were from about 88, 89. So I knew that would be close into when Mark's guitar came out. And so we threw them in there and it's been one of my main stage guitars since I've gotten it. Uh, there's been a couple of shows where I actually played the whole show with nothing but this guitar and didn't even pick up one of the backup guitars that I had on the stand. Uh, let's go ahead and take a listen to some of the tones and right here in the rear uh, we've got just a little bit of echo happening with a little bit of compression is that a EMG 85 so even though it is a humbucker your LA studio kind of stratty sound uh, for your big kind of Steve Lukather thing. Of course the middle pickup by itself will take the chorus off. Essays together. And then, of course, the neck essay 
by itself. So as you can see right there, that's just a, a, a barrel of monkeys and a half. But this guitar really shines when you start adding the black star pedal to it. That's the medium distortion on the rear SA. This goes for a nice rock and roll rhythm sound. Putting the strat into it. for your blues thing or your Hendrix kind of thing off the neck. So that pretty much sums up the MK. It's basically what you would think it would be a really great shredder style guitar but because Michael's so consistent with his necks it doesn't feel strange to me to go from this neck to a Telecaster neck because they play almost the same so it's it's a very comfortable guitar if you're used to dolls used to switch between this one and another one and plus the fact it's just really well built handcrafted guitar like all dolls are and if you ever order anything and you're not happy with them then you can go straight back to Michael, money back guarantee, and we're able to keep the prices so low because we do deal directly with the uh, with the public. So when you call, you talk to me, you talk to Gene, you talk to Michael, you actually talk to a real honest to goodness living person who's actually touched these guitars in their office. Anyway, this has been the Michael Dulcy Design MK Series Guitar. I'm Brian Love. Now you step inside, but you don't